Welcome friends to mark International Day for Universal Health Coverage or UHC. We have a very special guest today, Dr. Nguyen Viet Nong, who heads the national TB program in Vietnam and is a senior professor and director at National Lung Hospital in Hanoi. Dr. Nung has not only demonstrated leadership in fight against tuberculosis in Vietnam, but also has been globally recognized as one of the credible voices helping shape the fight to end TB by 2030. Dr. Nung, please tell us more about the rollout of new TB drugs in Vietnam, such as bidacolene, and what safeguards are in place to ensure no drug resistance to bidacolene emerges while we optimally use it for treatment. Bidacolene, uh, particular, and the new drug is very important for the TB control, especially we think of the ending tuberculosis. In Vietnam, we applied bedoclin so far, I think, uh, uh, two years already. With the first pilot, the 100s, we already achieved last year. And now we extend the uh, other uh, 100s and uh, nearly to meet the target. This is, uh, I uh, uh, can have data with the uh, treatment outcome very good. Side effect is not uh, necessarily under control. And uh, we uh, use for uh, HDR uh, TB patient and also to pre-HDR, necessarily the novoposacin or quinolone resistant or the injectable uh, drug resistant uh, TB. Or uh, another is uh, intolerant with uh, many uh, other drugs, second life drugs. We use uh, bedoclinine. Uh, I would say uh, treatment outcome more than uh, eighty percent uh, successful rest. It is a great result, and we want to uh, scan up this bedoclinine uh, base regimen for the drug resistant TB. Uh, as you know, it's a rapid complication of the WHO recently issued. But in Vietnam, we uh, will reserve the new drug for a while. It not used uh, at the beginning. So the MDRTB, pure MDRTB patient, we still need to use a short regimen as uh, recommended previously of the WHO, including the injectable. Uh, for the TB patient. We see that the uh, injectable uh, drug also besides of the side effect and uh, complicated, but uh, they still have benefit with the uh, uh, patient adherent. That is uh, based on uh, Vietnamese local uh, culture because um, patients have uh, several costs of the treatment and now they think the only oral uh, regimen could not be very strong enough. So they still believe on the injectable uh, drug. That is the concept. But later we can uh, do with the uh, own uh, new regimen. But we still need to uh, reserve the new drug for the further with the patient uh, currently exhausted, uh, treatment uh, option exhausted. So we not uh, use bedoclinine for uh, MDRTB at the beginning as a uh, uh, recommendation WHO for why. We um, do one study for the drug resistant for the bedoclinine, but uh, we not found any at the moment because it's a new drug. Bedoclinine uh, resistant situation, of course, is difficult because it's a new drug. We do not have a, a procedure to do uh, drug susceptibility uh, testing for bedoclinine. But we understand the bedoclinine and clofizamine have a cross uh, resistance. So if we see the patient have uh, clofizamine used previously in the history, so that is not eligible to use bedoclinine. Uh, at the moment, that's uh, the small number. This uh, drug is not uh, popular in Vietnam. So that is, uh, fortunately, we, uh, we do not have this, uh, uh, we think it's not, uh, not many uh, resistant. So we use bedoclinine for the only eligible, uh, regardless of the bedoclinine resistant situation. Dr. Nung, is there a funding gap in TB research and development? Also, please share insights on role of innovation in fight against TB in Vietnam.
Funding gap for R&D, of course, very big. Globally, we think uh, we already calculated 1.2 billion a year. Uh, if we have this gap, FinIn think that uh, uh, research and development for the TB, including the diagnostic test and the new drug and new vaccine, will come out uh, sooner. Uh, but uh, in Vietnam, we uh, not just pay attention on the R&D. Uh, we pay attention for the innovation, mean that we apply on the new tool in the optimal way. For example, Genispert. How to use Genispert? Uh, very effective way. We uh, apply the double H strategy, strategy uh, showing that the uh, X-ray is very sensitive for the screening, but not for confirming. And expert following can confirm the case with the abnormality in the chest ray. So X-ray screening on the abnormality consistent with the TB, we use the expert. That is the optimal way with the effective, cost effective uh, for the detection. We increase the detection for uh, our purpose, uh, reaching about 90%. Even the, our deputy prime minister set the target more than 90%, 95%, for example. That is uh, IND and uh, research and uh, uh, development and the innovation, we, we think. And the gap for the implementation as its own way. So that is depend on also for the management, how to use the own the budget line, own the activity, integration service, and the, make the friendly accessibility for the patient, our client. So let's say in Vietnam, we get the almost condition, making the TB control on track to end tuberculosis, but the beginning. We now the gap, not just money, we get the two categories. Gap number one is the sustainability. That means on the condition, favorable con condition, it still remain and develop until the fine, end of the fine against tuberculosis. So we try to make, uh, after the uh, United Nations high-level meeting, we bring the idea to advocate the government. Number one, we put TB in the national commission. That's a multi-sectorial accountability framework. This is important. And all notice should include in the law approved by the national assembly. That is the way we now follow. And both of these must issue one thing we think is very important, which is the sustainability, that the national action program to end tuberculosis by 2030. That is very concrete with the activity, with the strategy. So the second category of gap, it is the involvement of the community. If we have a comprehensive service for the TB, even very innovative, expert, X-ray, uh, any other vaccine or the test to identify the recipient uh, tuberculosis, for example, incipient tuberculosis. But the patient or the community, the people, not use. So there's no use. We need to bring together, narrow the gap between the provider and client client that the community, not just of the patient. So we need to reduce, number one, stigma. Patient or people not hide the situation of the TB. But the second thing, very important, that economy barrier. We have a cost, catastrophic cost uh, survey. We see that the catastrophic cost for the TB, the real figure, some country very severe and not fiction. So how to address this? We need to have local data. We need to do the survey of cost, DB cost, or the patient cost. And we address the economy gap. Patient, we should have a medical uh, cost free. We can run the fund, the foundation, charity, to. Uh, to, to um, fill in this gap, and we use a health insurance system. So in Vietnam, we have a PASTB, that patient support foundation to end tuberculosis, 
with the fund from the uh, people, individual and on organization, to put the fund. And we buy health insurance for the patient when diagnosed at TB, but not yet have a health insurance card. And the cost sharing, that's the mechanism, 20% or the 5%. When the patient hospitalized, the foundation can fund this, uh, this gap. So that is number one. Number two is non-medical uh, loss, non-medical expenditure. This is the uh, majority of the catastrophic, uh, catastrophic costs for the TB patient. So this is, uh, we make some, we call the universal health coverage, making the service very friendly, comprehensive, patient, the easy access. That means in the root level, the standardized service, the patient come, not, not, not need to come to over. That's a far away and uh, this is a hospital line. We need the community-based uh, treatment, management. That is uh, the second. The third, there is uh, income loss, labor loss. We need to work with the other sector, like labor sector. So we can generate the policy to support the TB patient. This is make the, the friendly service for the own people. We think that the own community must be involved in TB. We can end. If without the involvement of the community, we cannot end the tuberculosis by doing the fin on the gap, the on the barrier, the breaking down. Previously, we just uh, accused that the thing of the bacilli uh, only. But now the patient already cures by TB, but they still have consequences, like the scare, large scare in the, in the lung, for example, in the uh, born the other extra pulmonary TB, meningitis, for example. Of course, uh, when the epidemic of the TB reduced, meningitis would be fewer, but it's still very severe when they have diagnosed very late uh, state. So uh, we think about uh, additionality, addi additional method to, uh, to do, for example, surgery. Some patient with a very large uh, reason, but uh, um, they can have uh, some complication, like uh, pneumothorax, like uh, emotesi. So we need some uh, intervention like a surgery, the resection of the lesion, uh, owl, or that's an endo, uh, endoscopy uh, surgery to, um, to make a uh, heal with the pneumothorax. Some uh, plastic for the pots, that's the tuberculosis with the backbone, uh, very severe. Rehabilitation is very important. Everything of the uh, chronic TB, or the TB, pulmonary TB, can cause uh, COPD. So that is uh, severe compared to the COPD only. So in Vietnam, we already developed the rehabilitation treatment program. It's not just uh, the, 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 uh, only the treatment with the medicine, but uh, other exercise is uh, very comprehensive. Thank you, Dr. Nung. It is great to learn of the progress being made in diagnosing and treating tuberculosis. But are we paying enough attention to empty the pool of latent TB infection? Latent TB is a very important component in the strategy to end tuberculosis. Why? Even in the high burden country, we think about the reinfection, but when you the treat the latent TB treatment once, the new infection is different, totally different with the primary infection because the second infection went already cues. That is the, the patient uh, immunity already have uh, immunity to against tuberculosis. The second reinfection is uh, less important compared to the prior primary infection. So I support the latent TB initiative. It's very important. Globally, we set only 30 million 
by 2022. That is the not ambitious. We think that much more because compared to the 40 million case will be treated in the, in the next uh, periods. So why? Because uh, one patient it can cost more than double of this. I suggest the target for the latent TB treatment should be 60. It's double at the moment. This is based on feasibility. Someone sets target. Yeah. We explain. Because we're lacking of one thing very important, that's the test. How to define the person who benefit with the latent TB treatment. So previously we have tuberculin. Tuberculin is not specific enough. And even we use a shortage of uh, tuberculin globally. The second, quantiferone, can detect, but very complicated and expensive. You cannot, cannot do for everyone in the programmatic setting. Now we think of two tests. Dye skin test from the Russia and CTB in Europe. If this is available, approval can make this step is the jump up very very quick. The second thing, that's the treatment regimen. We use a 12 dose with the rifampentin azonazis. It's very effective, but it's still expensive. So how to global negotiation? to reduce the regimen so people can, can afford. The target should be devised globally. In Vietnam, we think there is a should be ambitious target. With the global fund support, we, in very short term, we will have this component it's bigger compared to the global target. We will contribute with like the part fighter to do this. But to evaluate the impact for epidemiology, we need to do other research. We present with the population-based expert uh, um, screening for everyone. That means we do optimal use of this uh, new technology for the everyone in the community can reduce uh, one year with a 20% uh, reduction of the incident and prevalence. That is uh, dramatically. So now we want to test if the latent TB treatment comprehensively, how it makes the impact to reduce the epidemic. That is the next, next uh, study in Vietnam. Thank you so much, Dr. Nung. Friends, we were in conversation with noted leader dedicated to end TB, Dr. Nigun Vet Nong, who heads the National TB Program in Vietnam and is a senior professor and director at National Lung Hospital in Hanoi. For more information, be welcome to visit CNS at www.citizen-news.org. Thank you. Stay tuned and goodbye. Thank you.